Hi and welcome to John's Maths Book. In this video, we're going to be looking at proving that the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared using integration. If you like the video, then please hit the like button and I'd be delighted and honoured if you'd subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Without further ado, let's go over to the whiteboard. Now we know that the area of a circle denoted by a is equal to pi r squared. How do we prove that this is true? We're going to try and prove this using integration. So let's start with the equation of a circle, which is y squared plus x squared equal to r squared. Let's rearrange this equation to get it in terms of y. So if we start with y squared is equal to r squared minus x squared, then y is equal to plus or minus square root of r squared minus x squared. So in this case, the negative square root of r squared minus x squared refers to the lower hemisphere of the circle, so this bit here, while the positive square root of r squared minus x squared refers to the upper hemisphere here. So let's look at finding the area of a quarter of this circle, so let's say here, and then multiplying the result by 4 to get the full area of the circle. So the area would equal 4 times the integral from 0 to r, the square root r squared minus x squared dx. So to work this one out, we need to do a substitute for x. So let x equal r sine theta. So dx d theta is equal to r cos theta, and dx is equal to r cos theta d theta. So using this substitution, the area of the circle can be written as 4 times the integral from theta equals 0 to theta equals pi divided by 2. So from 0 to 90 degrees. The so theta is from here all the way through to here, pi by 2 radians. Now if we do our substitution, the square root of r squared minus, now x is equal to r sine theta, so x squared is r squared sine squared theta. And if we substitute for dx, that's r cos theta d theta. So r cos theta d theta. So now if we look at what's under the square root sign in isolation, the square root of r squared minus r squared sine squared theta, this is equal to r squared into 1 minus sine squared theta. Now fortunately there's, there's a trig identity that will help us out here. So we have the trig identity cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1. The cos squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. So the square root can now be written as square root of r squared multiplied by cos squared theta. So now our area looks like this. Area is equal to 4 times the integral of theta equals 0, theta equals pi by 2, the square root of r squared cos squared theta multiplied by r cos theta d theta. So now if we take the square root of this, the area is equal to 4 times the integral from theta equals 0, theta is pi by 2 of r cos theta multiplied by r cos theta d theta. So the area is, so we have r squared again, which we can take outside the integral. So we have, now have 4r squared, and then we have the integral of theta equals 0. Theta is pi by 2 of cos squared theta d theta. Now to integrate this, we can use another trig function. Cos squared theta is equal to a half multiplied into 1 plus cos 2 theta. So if we substitute this into our area equation, we have the area is now equal to, we take the half outside the integral sign and divide it into 4r squared, we get area is equal to 2r squared. And then the integral from theta equals 0, theta equals pi by 2 of 1 plus cos 2 theta d theta. Our area can now be written as follows. So the area of the circle is 2r squared multiplied by the integral from naught theta is 0 to theta is pi by 2 of 1 d theta plus 2r squared 
multiplied into the integral from theta is equal to naught, theta is equal to pi by 2 of cos 2 theta d theta. So now if we look at the second integral in isolation, we want to integrate cos 2 theta d theta. So if we make some substitutions here, so if we say let u equal 2 theta, and then we have the derivative du by d theta is equal to 2, and d theta is equal to du over 2. So if we substitute these values into our original integral, we have the integral of cos u and d theta is du over 2. If we take the half outside the integral, we have a half du. So the integral of this is a half sine u plus c. So if we substitute our u value back into this, it's a half sine 2 theta plus c. Our area is now a equals, we take the 2r squared out, the 2r squared, and then we have the integral of 1 d theta is just theta plus the integral of cos 2 theta, which is a half sine 2 theta, and it's from theta is 0 to theta is pi by 2. So if we now evaluate this from 0 to pi by 2, we have our area equal to 2r squared multiplied into, and then we have substituting pi by 2 in, we have pi by 2 plus a half times the sine of, so if we substitute pi by 2 into 2 theta, we get sine of pi, and this is a, a big minus. We substitute 0 in now, we get 0 for theta plus a half sine of 0. So our area is equal to 2r squared. So looking at the first expression, we have pi by 2 plus a half times the sine of pi. Now the sine of pi is 0, so the whole thing becomes 0 minus 0 plus. So the sine of 0 is 0, multiplied by a half is also 0. That leaves us with the area is equal to 2r squared, pi divided by 2 minus 0, and that is equal to 2r squared multiplied by pi divided by 2. 2's cancel out, and our area is equal to pi r squared.